Welcome to Streaming Every Day. Today I'll show you how to use GStreamer to create a HLS playlist using a video file. GStreamer is like a toolkit for handling multimedia tasks on a computer. It helps software applications play, create and manipulate audio and video content. Think of it as the behind the scenes magic that allows your favorite media players, streaming services and editing software to work smoothly. Whether you are watching a video, listening to music or streaming content online, there's a good chance stream, GStreamer is quietly doing its job to make it happen seamlessly. Now to give you a better picture about it, we'll look at the picture that is available on this Wikipedia page and it will show you this pipeline that is created using the GST launch command line tool that is a built and executed executing tool for GStreamer pipelines. Now in the bottom of the picture you can see that there's a command which has this file source which is the element that takes the location parameter where your video file will be inserted and you have a decode bin there then you have a prospect of introducing a video codec there, video codec element then we mux the encoded video and audio streams into an MPEG TS format and essentially we are using this command to create a GStreamer pipeline that reads a video file, decodes it, encodes it and muxes it into MPEG TS and creates the HLS playlist. Now I have a video that I have already downloaded and you can see, we can check this video out, I will just play it with FF Play and yeah, so it's a video of New York and yeah, we're gonna create a HLS playlist out of this video. So as we have seen already that command, it's relatively simple. So I'll just clear this out and yeah, uh, I already tried this command and I will just uh, look up for it. All right, so as we have seen before in that picture, we had the GST launch command and then we add in the file source, decode the bin and um, add the format that we want to use for encoding here we are using x264 then we max it and then we have to just define the hls sync location where we want the mm, uh, the playlist file to be generated and yeah it's as simple as that now all you have to do is press enter and it will start and give you a system clock that will let you know that it will take these many minutes to complete the job meanwhile uh, if you want to check out more about gstreamer you can i would recommend to check out the website i already have it open here this is uh, the gstreamer command line tool that i've talked about that we are using here almost everything could be found easily in this page they also have some examples and yeah i mean it's not that difficult to understand but uh, of course if you have any questions i would be happy to answer them please drop them in the comment section moreover you can check out their original page and i think it will be sufficient to give you a good idea about how this works so we have this file generated what i will do is i will run up a local host uh, i want to check it in my local host so i'll just run up a server using python and yeah, it's running so I can just check out in my localhost that we have this file and I'll click on it and yeah, there you go. So the file is generated. So this HLS sync location can be a URL accessible via HTTP which means it can be served over TCP. However, streaming HLS over UDP directly with GStreamer might require additional customizations or the use of external plugins, at least up to my knowledge as I haven't tried it out yet but yeah as per my knowledge GStreamer's HLS elements are primarily designed for HTTP based streaming nevertheless you can use GStreamer with Python and you can also of course uh, use API references which are in C in the C language and I think uh, yeah if you really want to do something with streaming then gstreamer is a very very important toolkit for you and let me know if you have trouble with some examples i can also create another video 
And if you like the video, please hit the like button and see you in the next video.